Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the hard streets of LNUR. Last we left off, Elysian Fields was getting kind of hot with this scandal going around with pretty shitty housing. And Phelps was on the case. But last thing we heard from Phelps, he wanted his uh, lovely German mistress to get to the bottom of this to inherit a man he doesn't really like, technically, and its name is Jack Kelso. Also formerly known from the 70s shows. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to it. And now the Pacific Electric sign. Over here, we're going to be playing at the House of Sticks. Ooh! California Fire and Life. It was a nice morning outside, and, uh, oh. I had a quite a damsa walk into my office. It was, oh, it's Jack Kelso! Mr. Kelso? Yes, it's me. That's what the sign on the door says, miss. <laughs> Already being smartass. Nice. Okay. Uh, also look, man, pertaining to this matter of policy number, da 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 da, da please find attached. I said, oh, twenty thousand dollars. God damn. There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement—a two hundred dollar policy with a twenty thousand dollar payout. You should. I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. Oh. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Ooh, when the music starts. Okay. Let me get the case file. Alright, where is it? Ah, I see. <laughs> it's the only one rendered. Thank God. Let's open it up. Alright. Uh, press... Yes, yes. to be more in these files. Yes. So, I guess that's not it. California Fire Elysian. Oh, look at that. It's already there. Uh, okay. Oh, I can turn the page. Nice. All right, let's see. Oh, this must be the report. Policy number, blah, 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 blah. An autopsy there revealed that Mr. Bush's cranium was shattered probably when he struck his head on one of the roof beams. He sustained significant internal injuries as a result of the falling timber. God damn. Caught several joints of snap. Then he felt inward. Whew. Wow, that's... Took a hell of a fall. Or maybe something else was afoot. All right, let's put that back. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. So, what's up with the claim? What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Bill Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. That's it? Miss Lickman, you gotta give me something better. Oh, you're looking down. I, I gotta doubt you. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. I mean, it probably is right, but you know. I told you, I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. Ooh, snap. It's probably haunted. So, what's your connection with Bookwalter? Bookwalter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Oh, sweetheart, come on. If you're hiding something, you gotta let this dirty laundry out. What's up with the doubt? You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? And I Why do enjoy mind? it. <laughs> I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. Yeah. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Oh, snap. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. You see the irony wow. of that, Mr. Kelso. We spent four years there. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> so what's with the dispute? Collapsed. Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Like I had thoroughly investigated my good friend Phelps. What? What? <laughs> oh, oh, she's looking- Oh, damn. She's giving me that eye like, bitch, I know what I want. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. Like your number, there perhaps. There's surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. Ooh. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. That's what I like in a woman. I've told you what I have to <laughs> so Oh my god. Alright, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is oh, you? damn. Is there anything usual about this case? Oh, you? shit, Kelso already working the broad. Better, Mr. Kelso. The address. 
not the phone number. Oh damn, he's even giving like those those like seductive eyes, like look at my pre-rendered face. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Anyways, there you go. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> oh, he sure loves to wa watch them walk away. Oh, snap! Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Come on, I'll lock you up. Ah, oh, damn, even working the secretary, Jack? God damn, insurance must be really a hell of a time to work during that age. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta, gotta focus on the case. Uh, yes, yes, the, uh, the case. <laughs> Alright, I'll say, I'll say. <clears throat> okay. I'm guessing it's that door with the bell over there. The bell. The shining. I'll Some race you. I know, right? How dare they? Oh my god, it's Andrew Ryan. Mr. Benson? Ah, slave! I, I mean, free man, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I know ah. Elsa Lickman in the lobby. How'd you know her? It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Okay. Like I said, <laughs> Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Hmm. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. You know how those crazy it's jazz people are. Now that I think She's the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Oh. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. Oh, it's a pretty I feel like a man's, uh, this guy's in on it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Damn, asshole, we're right. Do I have to do everything? Oh, that's right. Calm down. No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence. Ah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Benson. Ah, the chain of command. Now go back to your putting. Can't even put a fucking hole in one, you suck. Alright, guess we're playing as Jack Kelso this time. Oh! I got a car? Thanks, kid. Oh, I can even oh I can even skip to my destiny. Hell yeah! Alright, well. As a matter of tradition, everybody, we'll see you guys there. Ah, the Elysian Field site, 11.17 a.m. Ah, uh, a place that I got nothing, really. But the music is on and the chase has begun. Alright, Kelsa. Just gonna stroll on in. Nobody's really gonna look at me, whatever. Alright, let's see what we could find. Do we need a warrant? Fuck it. Ooh, what's this? A paper. Cement, base building sand, coal... Really? That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. That shit's cheap. Is cutting corners. Man, you gotta get quality stuff. I know that garbage aggregate. Alright, what's this? Oh, order of demolition. Bulldozing and starting again. Oh man. These guys must really have resources back then. You know, trees were still alive. Ooh. Leland Monroe. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Ooh, delays will not be tolerated. Oh shit, we got a smart ass coming up in here. Uh, is that everything? Oh no, wait. What's this? Oh, I thought I saw something. Nope, nope. Guess not. Oh! The master plan of the Metropolitan Los Angeles freeways. Look at him. God. Well, that's the future freeways of Los Angeles. You just can't be walking around down here. Watch I'm me. Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat Oh, you? snap, you wanna go? Looks like you do. This is how we get- to OW! <laughs> asshole, come here. Get. You're a real asshole. This is how investigators do their job. My hat, you son of a bitch. What? I came to see the house where Luke Buckwalter <laughs> died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. 
It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> That's how we saw the manager back in the days. There. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. Asshole. As long as you're out of my sight. He's like, yeah, you better walk away. What kind of fuck is my hat? Give me that shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not too far. I don't have to want to skip it. Demolished home. Accident the stairs. Schedule for. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And we have arrived. Oh. Oh, look, the flags might be some sort of. Uh, let's see, what's this? Not, not for construction use, but isn't this the kind of wood that uh, you know, is used for construction? You know, what the hell is going on? Bricks, some cheap ass bricks that you know Cole Phelps discovered. Garbage. Put that shit down. All right, let's look over here. All right, uh, what's this? Yeah, not for construction use, but why is that? I mean. It's not like they're cutting corners only in the cement, but in the woods, too. Mmm, shit's fishy. This. Let's try to piece this together. All right, so what are we looking at? What's this? Keystone Films? Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? I mean, we all know that shit was cheap. The last time I was on a set, it almost killed me. Oh, what the- what the fuck? Oh, snap. I wonder- did anybody notice this? Oh! That's- Get- 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 Woo! Oh, shit! Do I have time to reload? Yes, I do. Wait, why does it invest in- Why do I- why does he carry a gun? Come on, jump it, jump it, jump it. Yeah! Uh, oh my god! Oh. Stop it! Can I Tom Hanks this shit? <laughs> or is a, a biplane gonna come by? Or a plane's gonna come by and shoot this damn thing? Woo. Let's see you try gravity, bitch. Sorry, pal. Ah. Just when I thought we were starting to get on. I know, right? You wouldn't even buy me dinner first. Alright, so, uh, somebody just tried to kill me. That's, uh... Interesting. Uh... Let's see. Oh! Nice! We used the telephone over there. Wait, I wonder- can he use a telephone? He's not really a detective. Oh, I guess I- I guess I can use it! Nice! There it is. No, we got time for music. Alright. Sorry, excuse me. Police work, sort of. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. All right. Is there anything else? No, oh, you, why did you sound a little snappy with me? I'm sorry I'm not a, you know, a commendable man like Cole Phelps, but... A little respect, you know? Damn. All right, anyways. Let's get on over there. Any minute now. Come on, Kelso. Alright, we'll see you guys there. The Keystone Film Company. 11.51 a.m. God, this place looks just fucking awful. I for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, no you here. dumbass. <laughs> He's like, duh. So, I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The suburban wow, that's really old. The place down. I'm like, why are you still working here? Redevelopment fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. Oh, I Something see how this game is going to be played. Here. I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Yeah, I see how the game. No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. Huh, really? That's that's not suspicious at all, you know? Okay. You'll have to hop it. Asshole. <laughs> He's like, don't mind if I do. All right, fine. All right, and, uh, and I know there's a bunch of wood out there, so let's go investigate that. Man, this place looks run down as shit. Oh, a horse! 
Oh, of course, I can't write it. Oh, a week. All right, let's see. Old wood, old wood. Damn, they just leave shit like this lying around. So like more than a grand. Well, now it is. All right, let's see. Wood, wood. What do I got in wood? What do I got in wood? Anything randomly clicking? Randomly clicking. Well, at least he runs faster than Phelps. What's this? Oh. Interesting. God damn. So this is where their lumber comes from. This is cheap as hell. Ah, oh, so it looks like our good old buddy from uh, French is cutting corners. What's over here? Nothing. No, nothing. Oh. Inferior quality, not for structural use. Look at that. Won't support a roof. And it just led to the horrendous death. Oh. Oh, I guess we gotta look in the building. Let's see, can I go in here? No. Nope. Really? The workshop? The most obvious place? But fuck it, whatever. Let's go look around. Alright. Uh, stage three is closed. And that has this wire barbed wire. It's over there. Stage two looks closed. Oh! Well, <laughs> Alright, the screening room. Uh, anything over here? No. Ooh, what's this? Wow, they would just leave a perfectly good... What were these called again? What the fuck is this? Uh, rotate the f Oh! Hey, it's, uh, these people. Oh, damn. Oh, okay, um... Uh, this must be the speed. Oh, it's backwards. Wait, wait, what am I looking at? <laughs> oh, looks like a lot of people are involved. And... Oh, shit, what's going on here? In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban hmm. Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GR. Okay. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Carlin Fontaine. This guy. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson, oh. Vice President of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Son of a Big bitch. Orb, editor of the Times. My God, these sons of bitches are on it. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental. Oh my God, here we're looking at the big bad guys, sons of bitches. Very true, but I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection motion picture industry. Here, here. That is something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Can I throw them up fast enough, Ray? Oh. That's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public God health. damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, oh, damn. the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets. Oh, snap. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. Son of a bitch. Well or telephone. Oh, fuck. Well, my question is, why the fuck would they just leave it here, but don't, no time to worry about specifics. In a great day for the future of Son of a bitch. Looks like we found our conspiracy. The chief of police, the district attorney, the ma I think the mayor. My boss. Give me the fucking telephone. Operator, can you put me Even the guy with the fucking times. God damn. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? 
Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. No, oh, it's a good old pal. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. Ooh. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very oh. clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Oh, snap. Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? What have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be oh. waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen. Mr. Auf Wiedersehen. Thanks for your help. God damn. Oh, snap. Shit, fucking all of Los Angeles is under this fucking conspiracy shit. Yeah, this is not so surprising. <laughs> Alright, we've arrived at the Blue Room at 9.04pm. Time to tell, uh, good old Lichtman what has happened. My man! Oh, it's fucking Phelps! Do we play as him now? Ooh, snap! Once again. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Okay, good, it's done. <laughs> Yo, my man. Oh, fuck. Are they gonna meet? Oh, do a nice pan over. Into the beautiful skyline of Los Angeles. Or the dirty alleyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know where this is going. Okay. Ah, oh, don't don't get any ideas. Oh, Phelps, Phelps, no, there's no time to be uh, suspicious. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Damn, Phelps, relax. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Gold? Oh, Elsa? my God. I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Gold. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his Oh, job. damn. I'll go see him in the morning. Oh, oh, is somebody spying on him? Oh! Oh, damn! <laughs> I mean, should I, should I go around back or, you know, investigate? <laughs> Alright, fuck it, let's not, nah, let's let them have their fun. Alright, let's, uh... Now we are at the Key Film Studios, and let's go to the second site. Alright, let's head on out. We'll see you guys there. Bam, we're back here at again. Uh, the second site. Well, the first one, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, time to do some thorough investigation. Damn, this music. Hmm, locked. As it should be. You might want to turn off your headlights, you know? Getting a little suspicious. Huh. Why are the lights coming up from up there? Alright, look both ways across the street, let's head on out. Oh, that is some nice homes. Wait, wait, what, what? Can I turn on the light? No, oh, the light's out. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Sons of bitches! Jesus Christ, this is fraud written all over it. All right, let's see who's up here.
Police fire investigation. I don't really have law power, but I could sure throw a mean right hook. You lose something, Mac? Oh, snap! I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dry. I don't up. even know what you're talking Get on about. With it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? Yeah. You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh, snap. Yeah! Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. Come on. Get up. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why is he kicking my ass? Why is he kicking my ass? Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, I don't think I could have won that. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. So, oh, oh, I was supposed to lose. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> well, at least I went down like a champ. Damn. Where was my gun? Ah, good old dial phones. <laughs> hey, boss. Sure, he turned up all right. We took care of him. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> Drinks all around. What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Oh. Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Oh, snap. Oh. Things are getting pretty dark here in the City of Angels. Okay. <laughs> Later, bitches! <laughs> Wow, you guys suck. Where's my gun? Oh yeah, they took it. Excuse me! Fire and safety! What the hell? Sorry, pal. Ah. Desperate times. Oh, damn. Woo! Alright, I gotta skip the pursuers and make it to Elsa's apartment. Thank God it's nighttime and there's no cars out here, but you know what? I could lose them in oncoming traffic. Oh, bitch. Oh, damn, hell yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, I thought that was like a hole. Uh, oh, I'm making a nice cut through here. Uh, don't lose it, don't lose it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, oh, Jesus. Woo! <laughs> Sucking bastards. Alright, we're making a nice good tread away. What? Oh god, it rendered. All right, looks like we got we got away from them. Simple as that. Is that the last of them? He's like, damn it, Tony, you lost him. He's like, I'm sorry, boss. <laughs> All right, uh, well, it's gonna be another drive over there. Let's see how long do we have. Uh, ah, it's just okay. Left on sunset. All right. Oh my god, I didn't want to be like a long drive. I would have just cut it. Glad we're almost there. We're passing, uh, all right, we're passing Fernwood, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think they got pretty much the, the entire solid detail of what actually, uh, downtown Los Angeles is. Oh! Hey! Sorry. Just run away from thugs here. No, nothing, nothing to be aware about. God damn, this... So everything, everything tied in together. The rise of Cole Phelps and the reason, like, we don't want you snooping around. Phelps, you're a good cop. You're a little too good. Thank God. Oh, Jesus. Hey, why is he looking at it now when he knew the address? <laughs> I 
Oof. Let me wash up first. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. This music. Mmm. Very suave, very. I arrived at the dame's house, not knowing what I would find. I got pretty fucked up, actually, but you know. <laughs> Easy, Cole! <laughs> so you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? Stop, Dad! <laughs> Nah, he's good. Walk it off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, come on! Ooh, just in the thick of it. Alright, clues found 10 out of the... Uh, I guess I must have missed the... Uh, the fucking... Um, the newspaper. Anyway, it's not bad for damage. Case closed. Valorous. The truth is out on Elysium Fields, despite Leland Monroe's best effort to bury it. The son of a bitch has been caught. Well, guys, uh, that does it for House of Sticks. Pretty short, pretty quick to the point, and I like the way this is going. Uh, I'll get started on the next one. I'll start recording it immediately. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you know, it gave you some fun, some laughs, some ooh, some <gasps> moments. Because, you know, this is what LA Noir is all about. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If not, who cares, really? Uh, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> but if you really like what I do, then, you know, subscribe. I'll... I mean, I'm trying to post every single day, trying to, you know, keep the momentum going, just to, you know, entertain you guys as best that I can, because again, that's what I do. So as always, have yourself a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea time, second tea time, breakfast time. I said that already, have two breakfasts, because, you know, it's the most important meal of the day. Uh, tea time, break, if you're studying, watch another video, you know, then go back to your studying, it's okay, nobody will know. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next case, here at LNUR. Bye-bye. Oh snap, what's going on here? Oh, it's Kelso. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You Shit. want to roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. Motherfucker! Flamethrower. Once you get over there and hurry them along. God damn it! <laughs> Ho boom! Weapons company, sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. God damn. Get your team in place. We're moving out. I think that uh, flamethrower is supposed to be First fire attached to something. And flamethrowers, head in. Oh snap! What's going on? What's what's going on? Oh, there's no snipers. Around. Oh! Where's he going? Where's who going? Oh, fuck! The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Damn. <laughs> He's right.